same stand that we hunted on opening day of deer season. I just, I know, I almost always see deer out of this stand. And sandwich in between two bedding areas with food and cover. It's, it's the perfect storm. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And if you like the video, please leave a like. It helps my videos reach more people. So it's just going on 4 o'clock right now. So we have like three, three and a half hours to hunt. We have one camera, one buck. I'd like to visually see. Because it looks like from the pictures that we've received, he's got three or four points on one side. And it looks like he's got a straight spike coming up on the other. So I'd like to get to physically see him. We haven't gotten like a real, real good picture of him yet. So hopefully it's going to be a good sit tonight. Got to sit back, get comfy, and we'll see what happens. that same, I'm willing to bet, that same butt buck that we saw last time we were here. It's only like 4.05, so more than likely it was probably bedded down right there. But as you guys can probably tell, there's a little bit of wind, and it probably really helped my cause in getting in here, getting all this stuff set up. I didn't even get the bow up yet, actually.
All right, welcome back everybody to part two of this video. We're gonna go do some, we're gonna go do some deer scouting on a, a piece of private land that the gun club I belong to owns. This little section here is 35 acres. I don't know if anyone else hunts it. That's essentially what I'm trying to figure out. I'm gonna be looking for deer sign as well as human sign. Uh, if you can't tell, it goes straight up. And then up top, there's a flat with two pipelines that run through it. So, we're going to go check it out. I'm going to try to climb that mountain. We'll see how that goes. I have a camera. I'm going to hang just to do some... I'm pretty serious about scouting this out. So, I want to see what's around here. Especially because it's, it's literally two minutes up the road from my house. It would be worth my while to check out. Even just for doe hunting or something, or once muzzleloader comes in, it's something real quick when the wife gets home from work that I can come up here and I can hunt, provided no one else is parked in this parking spot. But, all right, let's go check this thing out. So walking through here, so far so good. I don't see any boot tracks. I just gotta find a place to cross. There's a, there's actually a Class A stream on this property too. I come and fish from time to time. That's, believe it or not, a Class A stream. Here's some good deer sign. Just to come down here for water. A real good trail here. And there's a tree stand. <laughs> that didn't take long. Son of a bitch. That did not take long to find. I'm sure it's being used. Wow. Well, I just made it to the top of the mountain and right next to what I would suspect bedding is a tree stand. I almost wonder if uh, it's the same guy from down below. It's the same exact tree stand. Good spot. I like this spot. Right next to bedding. It's real thick over there. Definitely more people in here than what I thought there would be. Especially, it's a hike to get up here. Another tree stand. I thought I saw another older one in here. There's a very old wooden tree stand. That's old school there. Oh, I have been finding nothing but tree stands everywhere. But I wanna, I wanna put a camera out, so I'm gonna put one on this tree here, just facing, see whatever's walking up and down this pipeline. But I am shocked at just how many tree stands I have found today. Especially because the parking lot only, only can have one car. I don't know where all these guys are parking to get in here, but <sighs> I'm gonna leave this camera here for a week Hopefully it stays here. I'm gonna lock it. And uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if anything else pops up on camera. All right, there we go. There's the camera. This is what it's gonna be watching. There's a tree stand right over there, but I just wanna know what's around at this point. My hopes are high. I'll be honest, my hopes are really high. I didn't think a lot of people would be coming up here just because of how, it's difficult to get up here. It really is. I guess everyone else thought the same thing. Um, that's the unfortunate thing in the world we live in today with On X. Everyone has access to all these maps. So um, we'll see what happens. I was really hoping I'd be able to use this land for muzzleloader season. I thought it would be great to come up here and shoot a, a doe in muzzleloader season, but I don't think that's gonna be feasible. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Like I said, the parking lot only holds one car. If I'm the first one there, I guess I win. I don't know. 
but I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're going to be doing a lot of deer hunting this fall. I have 13 days off of work scheduled, so stay tuned for all that. It's going to be a hell of a fall. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Peace.